just give us your uh, synopsis about the, the the Larkin deal that was made, the return on the trades, but the fact of uh, you know the writing on the wall and where this puts the Red Wings. Uh, this puts the Red Wings in an interesting spot, like Terry brought up. He's wondering what they're going to do with this mystery box of picks. You now have. 26 total picks in the next three drafts. You have five first rounders, so you have a lot to do. You got great returns in the the Hironic trade and the Bertuzzi trade, getting a first out of those. I talked about it earlier, the Bertuzzi trade. A month ago, you wouldn't even expect it to get a first round pick. So to bring in this type of return for him, although you hate to see him leave, and I was just watching the press conference with Larkin, and he showed all his emotions and how he's losing his best friend and how it sucks. And that that is probably the biggest outlier of the whole situation. Even though you are losing a great player and you got a great return, it's really what Bertuzzi meant to the team and meant to the locker room that's really going to be the outlier for that whole situation. But as for the Ronick deal, you kind of spoke about the Senators and the Arizona deal. I think that was kind of kind of set the price range because Ottawa, or Arizona was being really stingy with that deal and they didn't want to do it at first and their back was kind of against the wall and then you see the Hironic trade go out so it kind of may have set the stone for that but I, I like both of the returns like you said I think it's a step forward you're building something for the future and we just got to let Stevie work. Well